If you've got a Pulsar Thermal with Wi-Fi, you can update the firmware to maintain peak performance from the very latest software enhancements, embargo or security fixes. In the same way, you might update your smartphone. I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks, and this is our one minute guide to update your firmware. And all you need is the StreamVision app on your phone with your Pulsar device fully charged or connected to a power supply. Turn on its Wi-Fi connection. Now, on your smartphone, in your phone settings, connect to your thermals Wi-Fi. Then back to the StreamVision app and in settings, you'll see this Axion needs an update and some of the improvements sound helpful. The first thing to do is to download the firmware onto your phone. To do that, return to phone settings and reconnect to your usual local Wi-Fi. Then back to StreamVision and My Devices to download the update. Once it's on your phone, it doesn't take long, we can transfer the firmware to the device. Go to your phone settings again and reconnect to the device's Wi-Fi. Then back to StreamVision and there's a prompt to install the firmware onto your thermal. Be careful not to touch any buttons. If you look through the Axion's eyepiece, there's a status bar to check on progress. And when it's done, that's it, your firmware's been updated. I hope that was helpful. For more one minute guides from me, David Thomas Jacks, click the i or subscribe.